As his second labor, Hercules was ordered by King Eurystheus to put an end to a creature that lived in the region of Linnaeus. This creature was a dreadful monster, son of Typhon and Echidna, known by the name Hydra. The brave hero was assisted by his nephew Aeolus, his companion since his youth. On the way, they stumbled upon a village raised to the ground by the creature, and a survivor pointed the way to the creature's lair. The Hydra inhabited Lerna's ominous swamp. Hercules and his nephew scoured the pestilent swamp for the beast's hiding place. The Hydra was entombed in a cave. Hercules used his bow to draw the creature out of its lair, firing flaming arrows into the cave. Then. The mighty Hydra appeared from the cave, enraged and thirsty to devour those who dared to interrupt its rest. The monster had multiple heads, and out of its gullets oozed deafening roars. Despite his large size, Hercules was remarkably agile and dodged the beast's attacks. With a powerful club blow, the hero smashed one of the beast's heads. To his surprise, two others quickly spawned in its place. With a sword, the angered hero started to chop off the Hydra's heads. Soon after, twice as many heads were born again. Aeolus shouted for Hercules to stop, as he was only making the task even more difficult. They came up with the idea of cauterizing the necks out of which the new heads were born. While Hercules cut off the heads, his nephew cauterized the wounds with a torch. One head after the other was defeated. The goddess Hera, Hercules' enemy, watching the hero defeating one more creature, sent crabs to help Hydra, but they only succeeded in distracting the hero for a short time and were eventually crushed. Hercules and Aeolus conquered the last head. Albeit severed, the creature was still alive. The hero threw it into a hole and buried it with a huge stone. The Hydra had exceedingly toxic blood. Aware of this, Hercules dipped his arrows in the monster's poisonous blood and was equipped with yet another terrific weapon. Hercules and Aeolus were set to return victorious to Mycenae. The goddess Hera honored the efforts of her minions, who had fought on her behalf, by registering them in the stars, creating the Cancer constellation.